This demonstration will show the procedures and techniques used in dialing. The ticket is placed near the dial so that the routing directions and the call number can be seen readily. The operator knows 216 is the code for Cleveland. The essential equipment consists of the dial itself, the dialing key, the dial pilot lamp, and the dialing tool. Let's watch the operator dial a call. The dialing key is operated. The start dialing signal lights, indicating that the dial is associated with the cord pair and that the equipment is ready to receive the impulses that will be dialed into it. Then the routing code and the call number are dialed and as soon as the dial returns to normal after the last pull, the dialing key is restored. Let's watch the technique used by the operator. The dialing tool is held firmly in the desired opening and perpendicular to the face of the dial. A firm contact is maintained until the stop is reached and then the dialing tool should be removed immediately and poised above the next letter or digit to be dialed. In some offices, the dialing tool is not used. Let's see the operator dial a call using her index finger. First, she operates the dialing key in the proper direction. The start dialing signal lights, and now she dials the routing code and the called number. The dialing key is returned to normal. Let's watch some calls being dialed. For this one to New York, Rector 2, 6168, we have trunks in the multiple, and the designation strip shows 2L+, plus, which means we dial RE2-6168. The dialing key is operated, the start dialing signal lights. Once started, dialing is never interrupted. When the dial returns to normal after the last pull, the dialing key is restored. On this call to Chicago, the operator remembers that the routing directions are 312 plus, 2L plus, and that the call is routed over tandem one. She takes up a dial tandem trunk, operates the dialing key, waits for the start dialing signal, and then dials 312, MI2, 6702. The dialing key is restored. On this call to Atlanta, the underglass bulletin showed the routing directions to be 404 plus, 3L plus. The dialing key is operated and the start dialing signal lights. She dials 404, LAM, 6930. and restores the dialing key. For this call to Canton, the routing directions were found in the multi-card bulletin, and since they included more than one three-digit code, they were entered on the ticket. The dialing key is operated, and when the start dialing signal lights, she moves the dial rapidly around to the stop for each digit. When the dial has returned to normal after the last pull, she restores the dialing key. This call is to a ring down point, as indicated by the absence of a plus sign after the last code. The operator will dial only the routing codes. The call number 37600 will be passed to the Charleston Inward Operator when she answers. Now, let's review the procedures and techniques used in dialing. The ticket is placed near the dial. 
The dialing key is operated in the proper direction to connect the dial with the cord. The start dialing signal then lights, indicating to the operator that she may go ahead and dial. When the dial returns to normal after dialing the last digit, the dial key is restored. Remember, be ready to dial before selecting a trunk. Dial rapidly and accurately. Hold the dialing tool perpendicular to the dial. Maintain a firm contact until the stop is reached. Poise above the next digit to be dialed. Never interrupt dialing once started. These techniques and procedures will save circuit and equipment time as well as make sure that the call is accurately and rapidly sped on its way.